I'd like to show you a little shortcut trick for measuring between two large holes in Autodesk Fusion 360. If I click on my measurement tool and then click on the edge of this hole and the edge of this one, I do get the center distance, but it's also mixed in with the shortest distance between the edges of the holes, as you can see. If you look over in the dialog box, there's a number is the center distance. But let's do it by another method. So click on this little box called Show Snap Points, and then come over and when you hover, let me start the command over again, you hover, you see all the points. The center of the holes are easy to pick, but are they? No, they disappear. Here's the trick. Hover over the edge of the hole, hold down your control key, and it will hold that point for you to pick. Let go of the control key, hover again, hold down control key, and you'll be able to easily pick it. So that's a very effective way for picking the center of the circle. Let's do that again. With this checkbox in place, hover over the edge of the hole, hold down the control key, pick the center. Let go of the control key, hover again, hold down the control key, and pick the center. And there's your center to center distance. This method can also be used for picking other centers. For example, the midpoint of a hole. Hover over the Let's zoom up, hover over the body of the hole, or the wall of the hole, hold down the control key and pick any of the three points. So holding down the control key gives you the ability to find those three points very quickly. By the way, let's go back and talk about one more thing. If I find those centers again, by doing the same method, if I would like to have the X, Y components of this measurement, simply check this box or hit the gear and then check this box. They do the same thing and you get the X, Y dimensions. Hope this will make measuring between two holes or more holes in Fusion 360 easier. Thank you.